Pluto is a distant and confusing, humble planet that was once an individual from our planetary family. Anyway, late alarming statements by driving astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and MIT's Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a staggering divulgence. They suggest that this cold world is on a potential impact course with Neptune. Yet how should this happen, and what might be the results of such a colossal event? Are we seeing an interesting, enormous quirk, or is there another thing to this coming affected influence? Join us as we examine the expected results of a Pluto-Neptune impact. Pluto, a past planet that was downsized to a dwarf planet, is still a subject of interest and study in the grandiose local community. According to late estimates by leading scientists, Pluto's trajectory is perilously close to Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm about a likely hazardous impact between these two planets that could represent a gigantic risk to Earth. How is such an event even possible? Pluto's orbit around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our solar system. It requires a staggering 248 years to complete a single revolution. This means that since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't indeed even finished one full orbit. However, the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's path is marked by its significantly bended shape, straying off fundamentally from the nearly round orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit significantly more intriguing is its inclination, measured at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows is substantially more extreme compared to other planets. This inclination and eccentric nature add layers of complexity to its orbital dynamics. Possibly one of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's. For nearly 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying what we would expect from their positions in the solar system. This prompts the natural question. Why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational effects of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery. At first, astronomers attempted to grasp its unique trajectory. Unlike other planets whose orbits lie mostly near the ecliptic plane, Pluto's path stands out with its steep inclination and elongated shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit actually crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amidst these complexities is proof of the intricacies of celestial mechanics. The three-body problem in space is about figuring out how three objects in space, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and influence each other with their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they start and how they pull on each other. For Pluto, this issue illustrates how its path, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complicated way. The terms alpha libration and degree libration, alongside the VZK wobbling, are important parts of this puzzle, as shown by astrophysicists. What's keeping all planets in their orbits is a phenomenon called alpha libration. In relation to Pluto and Neptune, this term means that when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is positioned about 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in keeping their paths from intersecting. Degree libration, on the other hand, refers to the upward movement of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes nearest to Neptune or some other giant planet, it is situated significantly above their orbital plane, providing an additional layer of safety from possible impacts. Another critical aspect in this situation is the VZK wobbling, named after three scientists Bon, Zipper, and Leo who studied how objects move in space. It's about how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun pull on each other with their gravity. This pulling affects how they move. In Pluto's case, VZK helps us understand why its path around the Sun is so unusual. Despite the fact that Pluto's orbit appears chaotic, this wobbling helps keep it moving smoothly from now onward. The VZK wobbling shows that even though things in space may seem wild and unpredictable, certain patterns and rules keep everything together. These factors help maintain Pluto's orbit, ensuring it doesn't crash into Neptune or lose its course. This three-body problem helps in understanding how these paths change based on how these space objects pull on each other. Focusing on this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and distant worlds and their stars. 
mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that despite these stabilizing properties, Pluto's orbit is indeed tumultuous, with minor deviations in initial conditions leading to significant differences over millennia. However, these intriguing properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over incredibly long timescales, effectively keeping the chaos at bay. Ongoing programmatic studies have helped us understand how the giant planets, like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn, affect Pluto's orbit around the Sun. Neptune has a unique relationship with Pluto, where for every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This relationship helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. However, Neptune isn't the only planet at play. Jupiter's gravity also plays a tremendous role in maintaining Pluto's orbit, and Saturn contributes significantly too. These simulations show that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to ensure Pluto stays on a stable path for quite a while, even billions of years. So it appears that Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues to move safely in space, without running into trouble. These phenomena are crucial regarding the universe for maintaining the control and stability of celestial motions. Without these factors, the solar system as we know it would be a place of much greater disorder and inconsistency. Bodies like Pluto might actually collide with others or be launched from their stable orbits, leading to a cascading effect on other celestial bodies. For Pluto, especially with discussions about it possibly crashing into Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is critical. This provides us with a clearer picture of the solar system's dynamic nature. The case of Pluto illustrates how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can achieve a state of agreement through the intricate interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of ongoing observation and analysis of these phenomena to better understand our place in the universe. Investigating the depths of space often leads us to confront the whimsical nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is an ideal representation of this peculiarity. The concept of orbital instability, which refers to the fragile dependence of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions, is particularly framed in the case of Pluto. This means that even slight variations in the dwarf planet's position or speed can substantially shift its long-term trajectory in the vast expanse of our solar system. Pluto occupies a unique position that challenges our understanding of planetary order and dynamics. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has undergone extensive study, leading to significant revelations about its composition and behavior. One of the most fascinating features of Pluto is its surface, which is a complex tapestry of ice, rock, and various mixtures. The New Horizons mission, which flew by Pluto in July 2015, provided remarkable data about this distant world. The outer layer of Pluto is characterized by vast plains, towering mountains, and deep valleys. One of the most striking features is the Sputnik Planum, a massive heart-shaped plane primarily composed of nitrogen ice. This region showcases a diverse array of landforms, including immense ice shelves and what appear to be flowing glaciers. The presence of these features indicates that Pluto could still be geologically active, despite its vast distance from the sun and low temperatures. Another fascinating aspect of Pluto is its atmosphere, predominantly composed of nitrogen with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. Pluto's atmosphere is elusive, yet it exhibits intriguing seasonal variations. As Pluto approaches the sun in its elongated orbit, its atmosphere can expand and contract. This dynamic behavior is a reflection of the complex relationship between Pluto and its environment. During its closest approach to the sun, some atmospheric gases may freeze out onto the surface, while as it moves farther away, these gases can sublimate back into the atmosphere. The relationship between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, also adds complexity to the system. Charon is relatively large compared to Pluto, with a diameter about half that of Pluto itself. This size ratio means that the two bodies orbit a point in space that lies between them, rather than Pluto simply rotating around Charon. This unique relationship contributes to the intricate gravitational dynamics in the region, influencing the orbits of other objects in the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune populated with small, icy bodies, is home to various other dwarf planets and potential. Impactors This belt is a repository of primordial material from the early solar system, 
providing scientists with a glimpse into its formation. Pluto's orbital properties could offer insights into the migration patterns of these distant objects, suggesting that interactions with larger planets may have played a significant role in shaping their current orbits. One of the key implications of understanding Pluto's orbital elements is the potential impact on our appreciation of the solar system's evolution. The gravitational influences from neighboring giant planets, like Jupiter and Neptune, can alter the trajectories of smaller bodies, including those in the Kuiper belt. Such interactions can result in shifts in orbits, potentially leading to impacts or ejections from the solar system. As researchers continue to investigate the details of these interactions, they may uncover broader patterns governing the behavior of celestial bodies throughout the universe. The study of Pluto also raises philosophical questions about classification in cosmology. The decision to rename Pluto as a dwarf planet in 2006 was controversial, sparking debates about what constitutes a planet. The International Astronomical Union's definition focused on criteria such as orbital stability and size, leaving many to ponder the implications of such classifications. This ongoing discussion reflects our evolving understanding of the universe and underscores the need for a flexible approach to categorizing celestial bodies. Moreover, the potential for future exploration of Pluto and the Kuiper Belt remains an exciting frontier. With advancements in technology and mission planning, researchers envision sending additional spacecraft to study Pluto, as well as other distant objects that share its orbital characteristics. Such missions could provide valuable data about the primordial materials that formed our solar system, potentially offering clues to the origins of life on Earth. The study of exoplanets, or planets beyond our solar system, is another fascinating area of research that intersects with our understanding of Pluto. As astronomers discover an increasing number of exoplanets, particularly in the habitable zones of their stars, the patterns gleaned from studying our own solar system can inform hypotheses about planetary formation and habitability. The conditions that enable stable orbits, atmospheric retention, and geological activity could shed light on the potential for life elsewhere in the universe. Ultimately, Public interest in Pluto has endured, fueled by its enigmatic status and the stunning images returned by the New Horizons mission. The dwarf planet has captured the imagination of people around the world, inspiring a renewed appreciation for the vastness of space and our place within it. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of Pluto and the celestial bodies that share its region of space, we are reminded of the immense wonders that the universe has to offer. Do Pluto's remarkable characteristics extend beyond its physical properties and orbit? It also serves as a vital case study for understanding planetary evolution and the dynamics of celestial bodies. The formation of Pluto is believed to have occurred in the early solar system, alongside other Kuiper Belt objects. Studying its composition can provide insights into the conditions prevalent during the solar system's earliest stages, potentially illuminating theories about the formation of terrestrial planets including Earth. Ongoing research suggests that Pluto may have a subsurface ocean, a discovery that could transform our understanding of its geology and potential for hosting life. Data from the New Horizons mission indicated that some areas of Pluto's surface, such as the icy mountains, may be composed of water ice, which behaves uniquely compared to typical rock under low temperatures. This revelation invites further investigation into the possibility of liquid water existing beneath its icy exterior raising intriguing questions about the potential for life even in such extreme conditions. Additionally, Pluto's relationship with its environment can provide insights into atmospheric science. The seasonal changes in its thin atmosphere offer a natural laboratory for studying atmospheric dynamics on a planetary scale. Researchers are particularly interested in how the interplay between solar radiation and the surface can lead to complex atmospheric conditions, similar to those observed on larger planets. The significance of ongoing observation of Pluto and other transneptunian objects cannot be overstated. As more missions are planned, such as those targeting the outer reaches of the Kuiper Belt, we can anticipate an abundance of new information that challenges existing theories and expands our understanding of planetary science. Each discovery adds another piece to the puzzle of our solar system's history and the cycles that govern its evolution. Through these investigations, Pluto remains a symbol of the relentless quest for knowledge about our universe, 
inviting both scientists and enthusiasts alike to ponder the mysteries that lie beyond our home planet.